And we thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Lascano. We begin tonight with the story of an elderly Woodsboro woman who says she was told she needed to learn how to wash clothes again. Here's the story. She had bought a new Whirlpool washing machine in February last year, but claims it wasn't washing her clothes properly. So she asked Whirlpool if she could trade it in, get a new one or get a refund. Whirlpool said no. So she called the troubleshooters and it looks like things are going to work out for her. Now, your Action 10 News Troubleshooters Report. It's wash day at the Tuttle House in Woodsboro. Another opportunity for Marie Tuttle to use the Whirlpool model she just bought a year ago. The one she insists doesn't wash her clothes properly. I was told by uh, Whirlpool to put it on a bulky sheet setting, uh -huh. that it would put more water into it, which is this setting right here. The water comes up about, about that deep. And see these buckets full of water over here? Mrs. Tuttle says she has to fill them up and add them to the water already in the machine every time she does the wash. And that's the problem, even though she says Whirlpool told her. I was told I may have to learn how to wash clothes all over again. So for the last several months, Tuttle's been trying to get somebody, Whirlpool, Parker Lumber, the place she bought the washer from, anybody to fix her machine. Two service techs came to check it out and wrote, the appliance is working as designed. They said it's working as it should, as intended. That there's nothing they can do to change the settings to get more water in. So the troubleshooters sent Whirlpool an email on Friday, February 11th, and again on Tuesday the 15th, asking them for help with Tuttle's situation. In January 2018, the Department of Energy established new guidelines for washing machines in an effort to conserve energy and water usage and save consumers billions. Whirlpool charged Tuttle $182 and change for one of those service calls, but she refused to pay it. Why, she thought. Her washer still wasn't working right. On Wednesday, February 16th, Whirlpool responded, telling Tuttle she's getting a full refund of her $530, plus they'll pick up her washer and haul it away. And that service call charge, it's been voided. The troubleshooters confirmed all of this with Whirlpool's executive office, making this another troubleshooter's case closed. Now, as always, if you have something you'd like the troubleshooters to look into, just send us an email at troubleshooters at kztv10.com.